They risk their lives every day to protect us. And tonight, it's deja vu as we honor another fallen Colorado deputy. We're shocked. We're hurt. We're hurt for the people that loved him. Who is Deputy Gum? Just how many lives did he touch? And how the community is honoring him tonight? It's just a tragic loss to the community that this man has gone. Well, just in the last few hours, Air Tracker 7 was over a police procession as Deputy Gum's body was transported from the coroner's office to Donor Alliance. And tonight, people who knew Deputy Gum are telling us more about who he was. Our team coverage continues tonight with Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo. And Thomas, you spoke with some of those people who knew him. Yes, I did, Anne, and actually people who didn't know him were coming over here to share their respects, but the people that I spoke with who know him are trying to share their memories, and that woman that Jennifer talked about who shared a letter with Adams County, we actually spoke to that woman about what happened, and we also spoke to his former teacher. A lot of us found out this morning. Uh, I heard about the shooting last night, but I didn't know it was him. It's kind of the small world, the fact that somebody like him who but out of his way to help me, you know, unfortunately lost his life. It's what connects us that makes us human. Someone that people could count on. People gravitated towards him. People really liked him. <laughs> At his time in Mullen High School, Heath Gum had a connection with many, like his ninth grade teacher, Sean. A story I would tell is he was just very uh, adept at bringing people together. Uh, easy smile, easy laugh. After graduating from Mullen High School in 2004, years later, Heath became an Adams County deputy. Enter to learn, leave to serve, and he embodied that. Deputy Gum directed traffic. He didn't need to stop. And he served here, helping a mother's son whose U-Haul tire flew off the trailer. He saw a need and came and helped and directed traffic and kept everybody safe. So they able to just stay with me and tell the situation was resolved. His character to do something like that is not a surprise. Today, they all found out what happened. It's just a tragic loss to the community that this man has gone. He touched a lot of lives. Based on, you know, the interaction I had with him, he would seem like a really good guy. He's well loved and he's missed. From a boy who played hockey, to a hero who died protecting and serving. Today, Heath connects everyone. We're shocked, we're hurt. We're hurt for the people that loved him. Now that woman's voice that you heard was actually the woman who wrote that letter with that incident that happened just a few weeks ago. Now, the teacher, Sean, says that that school held a mass this morning to honor his memory. Reporting live, Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7. And today, Governor Hickenlooper